How's it going everybody? It's PM Dre back with another video and in today's lecture we're going to be talking about periodization. So for the sake of this video it will be focused on bodybuilding and just building muscle in general. So let's talk about what it means. So it can be defined as resistance training that uses strategic implemented processes in order to have particular training phases. So by doing this, this will allow us to continue to make gains. Changes could be whether it could be in your sets, your reps, or your workload, or it can be in your intensity. So the percentage of your one rep max. So how do we utilize periodization in our training? So there's three things that, will, that we know that'll help us build muscle. So these things are number one, progressive overload, which I made a video earlier, so you should check that out. Number two, cellular fatigue. And then number three, muscular damage. So let's talk about what muscular damage is. So muscular damage are the micro tears that you cause on your body through resistance training or lifting challenging weight and getting stronger. So every time you go into the gym, you tear your muscles down. And then when you come out the gym, that's why it's important that you have everything in place as far as your rest and your eating to make sure that you're putting on muscle. The second thing, cellular fatigue. I know you've been through this. So let's say for example, you're on a chest day. So you're hitting your chest and you've been hitting your chest like for about 60 minutes to 90 minutes, just your chest alone. And then you notice that you don't really have that pump like you have, or you're not getting the same contractions. So that's pretty much showing you that the muscle has been fatigued. The cells are just pretty much tired, all those reps and all that work. So that's fatiguing the cell. And now, I'm going to talk about it now. Progressive overload is pretty much a gradual increase of stress placed on the body through resistance training. I do go into details with that video. I'm going to tell you guys, make sure you check it out. So by using all three of these pillars, this is where periodization becomes very special. So for the rest of the Sunday lecture videos, I'm actually going to be going through the different types. So I'm going to talk about them right now, or just kind of give you the list of what is going to be in those videos. So number one will be linear periodization. Number two will be concurrent. Number three will be pyramid. And number four will be reverse pyramid. So by going through all of these, then you can find a strategy that might be the best thing for you. The good thing about using these particular types of programs it will help you to burst through plateaus. So a good example would be, say if you've been training for maybe about a year or two years, then you, you just kind of hit this slump, then periodization is a great way to kind of get yourself out of it. Another thing that I want to bring up, it's also another way to keep you interested or kind of like, you know what, keep the gym fun. There might be those days you may not want to lift a particular amount of weight or you might want to change your rep range, your intensity, and periodization accommodates all of that. So I hope you guys found this video informative and look out for those videos that'll be coming up in January in the new year for you guys. And I'll be breaking that down. And again, I'm going to hope that you guys find it helpful because again, I covered progressive overload and I just feel like, you know what? I can go into a little bit more details by using certain techniques that are very helpful. So you know what we do here on the PM Dre Fitness Channel. Don't forget to share that's right. Tell everybody that you know, yeah, yeah, you, that you watch. Let them know that you watch your boy PM Dre Fitness. Like, that's right, like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more, then subscribe to my channel. Like, subscribe right now, and I'll catch y'all later.